I do have a greedy family. They never supported me until they realized, hey, I'm rich. The only person who's ever been on my side is my mom. My aunts, my uncles, I'm talking my cousins, everyone has always taken advantage of me and they never helped me out when I was down and out. But like I said, now that they know I have money, they're coming back trying to get inside of my good side. However, I do have a something I'm going to do. I'm going to pretend like I'm their friend. I'm going to make them think, hey, this guy's not so bad. And then I'm going to absolutely ruin their life. And you guys can watch. Hey guys, I'm 29 in male and I'm having a really rough time just making a decision and was hoping to get some advice here. I do run a successful business that I myself started. I live in the city with my mom and my life was going pretty well until I received a text from a family member from the past almost a month ago. It was my uncle who was trying to contact me and somehow got my number. I did not reply and barely read what he sent. Um, throughout the day, I got more texts which I ignored since it neither wanted to speak to him nor see him. A week later, I had several other family members texting me, wanting to talk, and when I kept ignoring the text, they started calling me, which significantly disturbed me, so I started blocking them and... Of course, I had not mentioned to my mother that I was actively ignoring my family members, since no matter what, she won't want me to hear them out, but they didn't deserve it. As I stopped receiving calls and text messages, I believed that my problem had solved itself. But oh boy, I was very wrong. One day, out of nowhere, my uncle and aunt showed up at my office and demanded to see me. Although I could have just ignored them, I decided that it would be better to tell them and I invited them inside. They came in, and my uncle started apologizing for everything that happened and wanted me to understand that they regretted everything. I stopped him midway and told him that I had no interest in their story and just wanted to tell him to stop bothering me. I also told them that neither I nor mom had any interest in connecting with any of our uh, family members. Well, uncle, he tried his best to explain to me and wanted me to give them a second chance, but I refused to listen. I politely asked him to leave since I had already told him my decision, but he refused. He started saying that he wasn't going to leave until I heard him out. Tired of all his empty apologies and worthless regret, I called security and asked for them to escort him out. My uncle kept making a scene until he was completely out of the building, and guys, let me give you some context on the way I refused to hear my uncle out and why I did not want to speak to him. So, many, many years ago... Me and my mother were very close to our family and even used to live in another city way, way closer to them. We weren't exactly wealthy, but hey, we made enough and used to help out all our family members whenever they needed help, especially my uncle and aunt. And unfortunately, my father passed away in a very tragic accident and me and mom fell through some tough times. It took us a little time, but as we were both working and I was working two jobs, we were able to become stable for most of the time. I have an idea for a business and I want to start it. I believe that it would work and I thought that once this business worked, we would have never have to be in a position like this again. So bit by bit, me and mom started saving money for my business. A bit later, I realized that we had to put in a considerable amount of money, something we would never be able to save in time. So. I turned to my close family and I figured that even if they could not put in a considerable amount, everybody would put in a little bit, which would help me tremendously. But I was oh so very wrong because all of them, including my uncle and aunt, rejected my appeal and told me that they could simply not help me. If this were only the case, I would not be mad at them since it's their money and their choice. And it wasn't like I was asking for money to eat. The thing they did later is the reason I didn't want to even see their faces. So as more time passed, I got more and more desperate. And when it seemed like it was time to give up on this dream, something surprising happened. Another family member, let's go ahead and call him Uncle Ben who was a bit richer than everyone else and lived in another place, called me and asked to meet me for a proposition. I immediately agreed to meet since he was looking more or less like the last option that could help me start my business. So we met, and at first he acted like he only wanted to help me and was ready to give me whatever I needed to start the business. I was happy 
and was ready to accept until I saw the terms of his deal. According to his terms, after two months of accepting the money, I had to start playing him a hefty monthly return on his investment. I had to offer an ancestral house owned by my mom as collateral. The piece um, about the house, it made me hesitate since we had not sold that house even when we were desperate for money. This house was special to mom since her mother had given it to her and it was also the home of well, her great-grandparents. I was ready to reject the offer since I could not take a gamble on mom's house, but Uncle Ben told me to take a few days to think about it. He also said that he always, well, only wanted the return and assured me that he didn't care about the house. He said he only put it in there as collateral just for his own security and would never actually take it. Well, I did trust him and he had given me great assurance, you know. I was still just not sure if I could take the deal. When I spoke with my mom, she insisted that I take the deal and try to fulfill my dreams. She said that she believed in me and would not be upset even if something happened to the house. Although I knew that she was obviously downplaying the importance of the house, I still decided to take the office of the offer because I was desperate. It was the only way that I could start my business and after a lot of thinking, my mom and I decided to take the offer. Since Uncle Ben made us believe that he genuinely did want to help us, you know. Well, ah, uh, guys, I think it's clear to you all that he didn't, and we got played. So I started my business, and it started off better than I could have imagined. But as the months progressed, I saw that it would take a lot more time for my business to be very profitable, and until then, I just had to manage. I was managing everything else except paying Uncle Ben on time, and I was still paying him the agreed amount upon, just um, a little later than usual. After about six months of running my business, I encountered a rough month where it started looking like I could not pay him. So I called him and asked him to wait a month and apologized, only for him to threaten me to pay him back by the end of the week. I tried to plead with him, but he refused to listen and I could not pay him back within the given time. A few days later, he informed me that he was taking my mother's ancestral house since I had not held up my part of the deal. I begged him, I pleaded him not to do that and explained why the house was oh so important, but he didn't care. I even promised him the entire money back within just a few more payments, but it looked like taking the house had been part of his original plan since the get-go. Betrayal. Ugh. Betrayed and hurt, me and mom went to my uncle, aunt, and other family members and asked them to do something about this, but they just turned us around and said they could not do a thing about it since I'm the one that signed the papers and made the deal myself. I told them that it's unfair and that he could not just do this to us, only for them to tell us that Uncle Ben was more important to them. Well, when we were in a good place, we would help them. But since we weren't, we were of no use to them apparently, and it just hurt me coming from my uncle and aunt, who I genuinely believed were my actual flesh and blood. They also cut me and my mom off from the family, claiming that we had made a deal, and then tried to spread these fake rumors about Uncle Ben. I mean, come on. I was mad, I was hurt, but I chose to stay silent since I didn't have the power to do anything at the time. After a while, my business started doing pretty well, and me and mom moved to the city where we currently live. Since the day they kicked us out of the family, I've not spoken to any of them until recently. When my uncle came to my office, and I hope it's now clear why I didn't want to speak or even see their faces. Ever since the day they refused to help us, I've hated them and have never wanted to do anything with them. My mother, on the other hand, would talk about forgiving them and giving them a second chance, so I was a little happy that they decided to talk to me and not my mom. My happiness, though, oh, did not last very long because four days ago, I came back from work to find my uncle, aunt, and two other family members sitting in my home, talking to my mom, and my mom looked very happy to see them, and so did they until I came in. So I immediately asked everyone to get out of my home, as I didn't want them there, and I didn't want to hear anything about it. They protested with my mom trying to defend themselves, but I reminded her that this was my house, and I wasn't going to have anyone there that I didn't like. Wow. So I warned them once more that if they would not go out to the house, I would be forced to call the police, which seemed to do the trick. And although they left the house and promised to never come back without even asking me, they seemed to have left me with a problem. 
because my mom got mad at me and has been constantly asking me to forgive them and wants us to rejoin the family. She says that she has forgiven them and so should I and I know my mom and I know that she'll not stop haggling me with it until I do what she wants. I've spent the last three days trying to convince her that these people are not good people and that there's no way that they've changed, but she refuses to listen to me and is playing the mother card for me to forgive them. You know, this is where I'm stuck. Do I forgive them knowing that nothing good will come out of it just like uh, for my mom's sake? Or do I refuse and keep making my mom mad? I don't know. Essentially ruining my peace. Both of the options seem bad to me, and I don't know what I'm going to do. So, you know what? I would appreciate any advice that you guys can even give me at this point. That would be great. What's up, everybody? Mr. Redito here. We're going to go ahead right now and check out just a couple of comments from the original post, and I'm going to tell you right now, this story is just heating up. If you guys are new to the channel and you want daily videos, all you have to do is hit that subscribe button. All right, here's the first comment. It says, hey, OP, I understand what you're going through and fully believe that you're doing the right thing by not letting them into your life. Um, from what I understand, your mom sounds like a very kind woman, but she's too trusting. Like you said, people don't change very easily. Plus, even if they have, those are the same people who have caused you and your mom a lot of pain and suffering. So, I would say stand your ground and don't let them into your life. And even if your mom leaves, I mean, you, no option at all, but to let them in, do not, and I repeat, do not trust them. Comment number two says, I don't want to sound like I'm defending them, but I think you should have given your family a chance. I mean, I know they acted very greedy and cut you out when they needed their support, but you need to remember that everybody makes mistakes. And maybe now they regret theirs, and I do acknowledge that there's a good chance that you're correct and assuming that they're after your money. But what if they aren't? I mean, what if they actually want you and your mom back in their family? What I'm saying is that you can give them a chance and see it's, well, what you assume to be true. It turns out, well, if it's like that, then you can always just go ahead and cut them off. Anyways, good luck. Update number one. It's been about a month. Hey guys, so... It's been a month since my original post, and here's everything that happened. Obviously, I mean, even though I didn't want to, I had to make a choice. It can also be said that my mother did not let me choose anything else other than what she wanted. And after two weeks of constant back and forth, I decided to just give in and accept defeat. Although I did agree to be a part of the good-for-nothing family, it doesn't mean that I've forgiven them, or heck, even if I ever will. Well, anyways, I just could not keep saying no to my mom and decided that it would be better if I just, uh, you know, she saw with her own eyes how these people still are. So, guys, two weeks ago, when I agreed to just comply with my mom's wishes, I also made sure that she understands that I would never forgive them and that I was just doing this for her. She agreed and told me that slowly but surely I would change my mind when I realized that they had actually changed. I tried my best not to do this because I didn't want my mother to be heartbroken when she finds out that they're only here for the money. I mean, I also don't exactly know why they want us back, but I assume it's because I've earned a lot of money. And they want to keep me close. And guys, for anybody wondering, um, I did remind mom of how our family treated us last time, especially our aunt and uncle, and what they said when we asked for help. But she did say that it's all in the past and we just need to be able to forget and forgive. So that's the story of how I was forced to make this decision. A few days after we agreed, my uncle and aunt came to visit and I also got several calls from other family members. I have to say that although I'm, I'm still very skeptical, my mom seems to be very happy. Also, I didn't just connect with my family because my mom wanted me to, but also for something else, guys. They've really hurt my mom and me in the past, and although I don't bear any grudges, if they're still planning on using me and my mom, I have plans to do something. So, for their sake, I just hope they genuinely missed us and don't have any ulterior motives behind it. Update number two. 
Hey guys, another month has passed, roughly, and I have to say that it's really kind, um, of sad that it's only taken me about a month to figure out their actual motive. Spoiler alert, they never actually cared about my mom and me. They only wanted our money. I mean, it's not much of a spoiler because it's so obvious from the start and greedy people don't change that easily. I just feel bad that if I have to tell mom about this and ruin her happiness, um, let me explain how I figured everything out. So during this entire month, me and my mom visited and we were visited by several relatives, although I initially was very skeptical uh, after about a week of talking to other family members. I had also started believing them, but I could not just fully trust them since that's what I had learned last time. About a week ago, we were invited to a family get-together, not very far from our own home, and there I noticed that many of my relatives were trying their best to only talk to me. You know, this seemed kind of weird, but I thought that it was because they had not seen me for a long time and were simply excited. But no matter how many people I spoke to, they would slowly turn the conversation towards financial situations. Almost all of the family members I spoke to told me a sad sob story and made it seem like they were struggling financially. Obviously, I didn't believe any and also did not offer help to anyone. But this made it clear that it was all that they wanted, just to make sure. I also spoke with both my uncle and aunt separately, and surprisingly, they both managed to slip into a small story that hinted at their bad financial condition. So, after the party, my mom also told me that many of the family members were struggling, including my uncle and aunt, and she wanted me to try to help them. I tried to explain to her what this meant, but she just dismissed it, saying if I did not want to help, then I should not insult them. This more than confirmed my suspicions that my family was trying to get my money. So, during the last two days, I did a bit of digging and found out that none of them are actually struggling financially, guys. I mean, they aren't rich by no means, but come on, they are stable. So, I've decided that I need to do something. I can't just let them keep playing with my mom's feelings and I've called my uncle, aunt, and my cousin to my office tomorrow in order to help them. I'm going to give them money, more money than they require, and then when they get used to using my money, I'll take it all away. Yeah, you might call me cruel, but let's just see how my plan plays out. Update number three. Well, my plan's going pretty smooth, and it's almost better than I could have ever expected. Let me explain. So like I mentioned in my last update, I called a few family members to my office and they came the next day. I explained to them that I wanted to help them financially if and only if they needed it. They of course gave me their little fake sob story and I pretended to be moved by it and at first they even pretended to reject the help, saying that they could not ask from it for me because of what they had done. But as soon as I said, oh no, it's fine. Guys, they absolutely jumped at the bait. So I asked them what it is that they needed, and they started you know, paying them money for various things. And My uncle and aunt asked for help with non-existent medical bills. They also wanted me to pay their water and electricity bills, and my cousin wanted me to buy him some stuff he needed. Most of the things they asked for were lies just to use the money. But some of them could have been true, but you know what? I simply did not care. After a few days, more and more family members started asking me for help, but I told them that I could not help any of everyone. My uncle also called me and asked me why I only specifically help them, and I said because they were the closest family members to me and my cousin because I believed he was struggling the most. The real reason I chose them was because my uncle and aunt have been the most cruel to me and my mom. The reason I chose my cousin was because out of all the family members, he was the most wealthy, but still was acting poor for money. I mean, come on. Well, a few days later, I probably became the most loved family member of all time. My mom, she was very, very happy with what I have done and just kept praising me. I don't know, I felt bad, but I didn't have any other option. If I don't do this, she's never going to realize it, and they'll continue to trick her. So... Then something happened that even I had not anticipated. Remember old Uncle Ben, the family member who stole my mom's ancestral home? Well, he called me and said that he had a business proposition for me. So he told me that first of all, he wanted me to forget whatever happened in the past and do this deal with me, as it would make us both filthy rich. 
Well, obvious, guys. I wanted to see what he was going on about, so I immediately agreed. Yeah. And, you know, this potential to turn into a golden opportunity, which it did. So, he wanted me to invest in a business that he was starting and wanted me to work with him as a partner. The idea was good, but there was something even better for me here. But I had to play my cards right for this to work out, so hey. I asked him to give me some time to think, and then he agreed to the deal. But I had a few conditions. I told him that I could not sign the contract due to some issues with the company. I also asked him to start the business, and in three months, I said that I would come in as a partner and invest in it. I was scared that he would see right through my plan, but he believed me, and it worked. The beautiful thing about this plan is that he has to run the business solo for three months using his own money. When his investment starts running out and I didn't come in, I believe that it's going to cause him a massive loss. A loss so big that even he would struggle to come out of an on top. I still couldn't believe that he himself came to me and gave me the opportunity to take something back from him. No matter what, I'm not going to let him go easily. I mean, I plan on keeping up this facade as long as I can. So that I can hurt them the most. And guys, let's just see how my plan works. Update number four. More than three months have passed since my last update, and I want to start this by apologizing for taking so long. But as I explained in my last update, I needed to give it a bit of time so that it could work. I've also had to stay patient so that my plan can work flawlessly, so... Just a week after I wrote my last update, Uncle Ben started his business, and... I was more than happy. Also, throughout the span of these three months, my family members have grown more and more dependent on me just to pay the bills. I heard that my uncle and aunt moved into a bigger house, and my cousin left his job because he believed that he didn't need to work. But, uh, that was all going to come crashing down soon, and I let them be happy for a few more weeks because I first wanted to explain everything to my mom. So two weeks ago, I told my mom everything that I was doing and planning to do, and she was furious. She obviously did not understand why, so I showed her the proof, and I showed her how our family was using the money that they desperately needed. Although she understood after I showed her the proof, she still wasn't happy with me. She said that I could finish, you know, just have told her and not done this. She believed that doing this would make us bad, just as bad as them, but I disagreed. After a lot of back and forth, she told me to do whatever I wanted and did not want to hear any of it. So the day before yesterday, I cut off all the money I was sending to my family members and waited to see their reaction. It didn't even take them two hours to realize that I was probably not going to give them money for this month. And my phone started to blow up. I'd already instructed my mom to not pick up any calls from them, and even if she did, I asked her to play dumb. By the end of the day, I must have received more than a hundred calls and several more text messages. But I did not respond to any of them except Uncle Ben because I had more things to do with him. I guess the word uh, reached his ears and he called me worried and... I picked up the phone and assured him that everything was alright. I just had a problem with payments that would sort itself out by tomorrow. And by the end of this week, I would sign his documents and I could have told him the truth right then and there. But I wanted him to have a moment of peace before I took it all away. So the next day. Well, I texted him saying I was backing out of the deal and I wished him the best of luck. I also texted my family members saying I wasn't going to waste any more of my money on leeches like them. Since then, I haven't answered a single call or responded to a text, and my phone just keeps blowing up. With desperate texts and calls, especially from my uncle and aunt. It's kind of funny, because at one point, that's how me and my mom were. But nobody helped us, and they were, uh, you know, a fine financially until I helped them. I assume that they are going to show up at my place at one point or another, and I'm ready for it. But until then, I'm going to enjoy this peace and satisfaction I get. Final updates, update number five. This will probably be my final update on this one, and, well, I can end my story on a bit of a happy note. Continuing from where I left off, almost two days after my last update, my uncle, aunt, and my cousin showed up at my house. They'd probably made sure that I would be in the house since they came on an off day. I invited them inside and asked them what the problem was, and they get mad and said that I was doing something that wasn't fair, and they could not survive without any help. Both of them had their own stories, and this time most of them were true. My uncle said that they would lose their house, and my cousin said that he had quit his job. 
It was kind of sad, but also funny, because all of that only happened because they were greedy. I told them I didn't care what happened to them and that all of this was their own doing. I made sure they understand that no matter what, I was not going to give them even a dollar. When they could not convince me, they tried to convince my mom, saying that all of this was unfair and that I was doing something so wrong. They tried their best to turn my mom against me, and I guess their plan was to use my mom to make me continue paying them money that they needed. Instead of supporting them, my mom just said that I was stopping them from using us further. She told them that even though she gave them a chance, they showed their true colors, and she also said that she remembered the things that they had done before and chose to forget those things because she wanted to be a part of the family. But now she believed that it was better to be alone than have people like them as a family. Well, when nothing seemed to be working, they started pleading and begging me to help them. So I told them the same thing they told us when we pleaded with them. I said that they were important enough of, you know, good enough to be our family members. I told them I was cutting them off and I never wanted to see their greedy faces again. After that, I threw them out of the house and they stayed outside for a few hours, hoping that I cared. But when they realized that I didn't, they left. Throughout the week, they showed up at my office to beg and plead, but I did not even listen. After I had spoken with almost all of my family members, the only one left whom I wanted to have a conversation with was the person who had hurt us the most, so I deliberately avoided confronting the worst family member because I wanted to save him for last. So Uncle Ben. Uncle Ben kept calling and I kept avoiding him until the day I wanted to confront him. I picked up the phone and he sounded very, very desperate. So we met up. He begged me to restart the business by investing in it and he said that if I did not help him, he would not be able to take this loss. So I explained to him that it was exactly my plan all along that I was not going to help him. He started saying that he was sorry for everything and that he didn't mean to do all of this to me, and he even begged and pleaded, but I kept saying no. Then he said that he wanted at least a bit of uh, money to pay off certain people so that he would not be homeless. Well, I told him I would gladly give it to him if he gave me something in return. I told him that I would give him the money he needed to if he gave me my mom's house back. He complained that it would be a loss for him since I would be paying less for it than the actual price and I told him he would not be able to find the money in time if he tried to sell it, so he has no other option. I also explained to him that given how he's treated me and mom in the past, he could see this as a discount. He obviously had no other option but to agree. And a few weeks later, I got my mom's house back and I showed it to her about a week ago. Oh, she was so very happy about it. And the cherry on top, I also refused to pay Uncle Ben the money he sought from me. So he was left all alone to deal with nothing more than a huge loss, which ended up with him getting stuck in the shackles of depression and alcoholism. As for my uncle, aunt, and cousin, they're still struggling to get the money to cover up for all the luxuries that they've gotten so used to with my money. But guys... Unfortunately for them, they're all able to do is just make ends meet and the only thing they're getting is some large debt to keep up that luxury life. So that's all that happened. And for anyone curious, I plan on keeping all of my family cut out for the rest of my life. I mean, come on, what would you have done?